Hey guys, how's it going? Briano here, and I have a quick little video for you guys. I don't know if anyone else normally has this issue, but whenever I'm either testing a REST API, I tend to come into the issue where, all right, I have my API, I need to test it, and that API is going to take in a JSON object. And I have some very complex Pojo that I need to basically convert into this JSON object. So I'll go and I'll manually, hand by hand, you know, try to make every single field and, you know, put that into the REST API, it returns back an error and keep going from there. Using Jackson, I've actually found uh, a few ways. The first is going to work with an any IDE and the second will be IntelliJ specific. So first I'll go over the overall way and then next I'll go into the IntelliJ specific way. So the first one is I just have some plain old Spring Boot application here. And uh, this application ready event just is the event that Spring Boot fires off when the application loads up. You don't need to do it this way. Post construct, you can do it in a test if you want. You can write it in a unit test. But um, so I've gone ahead and I've created this student model. So I'll just say student, 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 right? Equals new student. So the student takes in the first name. So we'll do my first name, my last name. We have an enum here, so my majors, computer science, um, what's next, GPA, we'll do uh, 3.5, I wasn't that smart. Um, current credits is, let's say, I'm taking 15 credits one semester, and I've taken 70 credits already, something like that, right? Um, and I made these strings for some reason. So, okay, okay. Okay, so now I have some student object and I want to convert this student object into a JSON format. Um, so using Jackson, it's actually pretty simple. So what we're just going to do is we're going to create a new object mapper. Um, equals new object mapper. That's the first step. Now again, this is only if you have the Jackson dependency in your application. Uh, object mapper on the object mapper we're going to set the visibility so we'll do property accessor dot field and static import that and then we'll do visibility dot any and again go ahead and static import that now we'll do object mapper dot write value as string and we'll pass in the student now with that being said Run that try catch. This is not out the println, and we'll just go ahead and run this application. So great! Now we have basically this JSON object format of this student object. So if we have some REST endpoint, we can go ahead and we can plug that right in there. All right. So that basically works for any IDE, any environment. But the actual cool part that we can do, and this is more towards IntelliJ. Um, I don't know exactly how to do this in Eclipse and other places, but what I have found is we're going to keep this because this will be useful. We're going to change this to this, all right? Copy this all, delete all this, and here we'll just do uh, student dot two all right? And we'll put a breakpoint right there. What we're going to do is we're going to debug this application and when we get to our breakpoint so what what it'll do by default IntelliJ is it'll give you this two string representation of that object but actually what we can do we can go view as we can go to create and make a new render called JSON render right here we're going to use an expression in the expression, we're going to go ahead and pop in this object mapper stuff, which we showed before, right? So you have field, um, it's going to be property accessor field. I don't think you use static imports in here. Um, here we're going to do any visibility that any and this. And what's the problem here? Wait. Okay. All done. Now, okay. Now, actually, instead of um, going through, and having the two string representation right here, 
you have your JSON representation, which you can go ahead and just copy the value of that. And you have your JSON object in your from, straight from your debugger um, with no extra code, nothing that needs to be you know added in. Um, again, as long as you have a Jackson as a dependency, you're good to go. So guys, that was a super quick video. I just wanted to go in and show that this has been super helpful to me, like I said, when I'm writing and testing REST APIs, specifically when you have really big JSON objects or really big Java objects, which you need to kind of read in from a REST endpoint. Um, this has really, you know, sped up my development speed, so I've wanted to share it with you guys. Anyway, if this is video has helped you, could you go ahead and leave a like down below? And if you want to see more videos like this or want to see videos related to either computer science or development content or finance content, then go ahead and check through the videos um, on my channel and drop me a subscribe if you can. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.